You know, when I started off this challenge, I really wasn't expecting to get so much damn loot. But here we are with a massive pile on the floor and even more in our inventory. Anyways, everyone, welcome back to the long dark. We've survived six full days at this point, and hopefully we can survive our seventh. But right now, I need to do a few things. For one, I need to drop off a whole bunch of stuff in my inventory, and then two, I'm gonna be spending the rest of the day outside, hopefully inside the car, right? Because if we step outside, we can see that the temperature is still extremely nice, so, you know, taking advantage of this outdoor weather would be nice to avoid cabin fever. I don't know if it's gonna be enough, but, you know, we'll get to that soon after I drop off a lot of the stuff that's not very needed. So let's go do that really quick. Oh, and while we're at it, there was something that I did forget inside of this community center here, and that is this cabinet right here, giving me nothing. <laughs> Why am I not surprised, man? Okay, that's it. <laughs> I will see you guys when I'm done dropping off everything I have. Okay, there we are. I dropped off a whole bunch of cattails, all of my food, some guts and cured hides, my books, and other miscellaneous stuff. I only have one more torch after this one, so now I'm gonna go head out and I'm gonna go start a quick little fire outside so I can spend the rest of my day, you know, just outside living life. So I can spend the rest of my day outside in a beautiful, beautiful evening. <laughs> I am going to be making a snow shelter, I think, in order to avoid what you may call it. In order to avoid freezing to death, because there are cars nearby, but we won't be getting a good temperature because I don't have a sleeping bag right now. So what I'm going to do is actually create a snow shelter, which requires 15 sticks and 5 cloth. Okay, knowing that then, I'm gonna start up the campfire first so I don't run out of torch fuel, and then we'll go grab five cloth from indoors. Hell yeah, we can throw on some water, throw on some rabbit meat, and now I can go grab the cloth to create the shelter. And we've collected it just in time for our rabbit meat to be cooked up, so let me grab that and our water. Bada boom. Now I can cook up some more birch bark tea and a big old pot of water. Okay, how do I craft up this snow shelter now? It looks like I can't place it around here. Oh no, right here. Perfect. Okay, let's get it as close to the fire as possible, and we will be sleeping like a king. 45 minutes to craft, 225 calories, we can burn it all. Now that looks real, real comfy, don't it? We can use it, and I'm pretty sure we can just slip our way on inside and give myself quite the bonus to our temperature. So now that we have it, uh, let's go wait out the rest of the fire, grab some extra torches, and we will be ready to head on out tomorrow. Hopefully the temperature remains pretty calm, so I don't have to worry about, you know, freezing to death. Uh, on the way. Though I will be sleeping within one hour intervals to avoid me dying, you know, completely. So yeah, I think that's everything that I'm gonna be doing today. I will see all of you tomorrow. If it does get too cold, by the way, you will just see me wake up inside the community center. Alrighty, it looks like we've woken up at a perfect time. We have slept for the majority of the day, increasing all of our bars, and if you look at our temperature bar, it is finally terrible out for me to sleep. So we're gonna leave the snow shelter, and we're gonna go inside to sleep the rest of the day off. Holy hell, it's bad. Hopefully I can navigate my way over towards the bed. It's very, very hard to see in here, and I really don't want to waste a match, you know, looking around. It actually didn't take too much time at all to find the bed. Now I need to find the pile of food near me. Oh cool, we actually found it. Okay, I'm gonna grab a few cattail stalks and that should set me up for the rest of the day. Anyways everyone, welcome to day number seven. We have survived a full week inside of this place. Our condition bar is looking good. And if I step outside hearing the, you know, ambiance, it is currently beans out, so we're gonna have to spend our day indoors 
for the rest of the day. And what I'm gonna do is pack everything that I think is essential for our big trek to Coastal Highway, right? So it's gonna be pretty boring, but by the end we should be pretty prepared to make the big trip. What I'm trying to say is by the time this blizzard is over, we should be more than prepared to leave. Finally, after reading one full chapter in Wilderness Kitchen, the blizzard seems to have calmed down. It is pretty late in the day, but that doesn't really bother me too much because all I need to do is reach Coastal Highway, and then when we're there, we can worry about finding shelter, right? I am going to be taking the guts and hides with me. I know that sounds really stupid, but I really, really, really want to make a set of rabbit clothing when I do reach the area, right? Because there should be a workshop, and if I have rabbit earmuffs and a rabbit set of mittens, my life expectancy will probably increase. So I'm gonna grab all of these bad boys, we're gonna keep out our torch, and we are gonna head right on out. Hopefully the weather shouldn't be that bad. If it is, we can just speed run right on through. Okay, looking around, it's actually perfect out. We only have one minus chevron on our temperature, which means it's a go-ahead to leave this area. The exit should be a mineshaft up over there, so as long as we just run down, keep our eyes peeled, we should be A-OK. -okay. So as long as we keep our eyes peeled for any wilderness creatures that might want to take my guts and hides, we should be chilling. I also see a vehicle and a few other small buildings for me to loot. Sadly, there's nothing inside this car. Oh, whoa, 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 ho, 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 I almost missed you. Oh, that's freaking awesome, dude. Really a hacksaw? Oh, oh my gosh. I am, I'm actually so damn happy I decided to, what the hell? Oh, that is such an evil spot to put an item, dude. Okay, wow, my, my day is going extremely well. I was just gonna check the truck and be like, oh man, nothing in here either. And I had to do a double check, but yeah, that right there is a hacksaw. And with that, we have all of the tools we need to create a forge. Or I guess not a forge, but to create our own tools. Because the hacksaw can actually be used to, whatchamacallit, cut down maple saplings as well, and we can dry those in Coastal Highway. Life is so damn good today, man. On top of that, we got more coffee. Uh, what else? Okay, that's actually it. Wow, these homes don't really have that much stuff. The only reason on why I'm not disappointed any further is because of the crazy, crazy hacksaw spawn. Oh, there was a pretty good chance we would have found it in Coastal Highway, but getting it this early is such a reassurance. Anyways, it is time for me to head on down to the mine. And I'm pretty sure all we need to do in order to reach the mine is follow up this hill here until we see a big path going uphill, and there should be a mine entrance at the end of there. I don't know if I'm going the right way, but we will find out very soon. Worst case scenario, I can just double back to the home down there. Oh no, that's a wolf. Okay, he's probably attracted to my scent right now with all the rabbit hides I have, but hopefully we should just be able to circumvent him and to make a beeline for the mine before he even has a chance of coming up on me. I will also say, our torches might not last within this uh, temperature, right? So I might need to pull out my flare. Hopefully it won't come to that, and hopefully we will just be able to avoid him to our utmost degree. Whoa, hello there. <laughs> Holy crap, that deer scared the tar out of me. Okay, yeah, no, this is the way up. Matter of fact, if we read that sign right there, it says mining road, so it should be up here. Yepers, everyone, here it is, the coal mine. And this is also a very good place to be. For one, there's going to be some loot in here. Two, it's going to warm me up. But most importantly, it's a coal mine, which means there's gonna be a lot of coal, and I need that in order to craft. 
Also, my inventory is filled up with a bunch of junk right now, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna drop off some stuff here, like the potatoes, to make room for more supplies. Yeah, what matters right now is definitely the coal, which weighs 0.3 kilos each. Okay, cool. And I'm also gonna have to light a torch in order to see anything in this place, so let's do that as well. Bada boom, let's keep on moving through. Grabbing any coal along the way. Even if we get over encumbered, I can leave it just at the end of the entrance zone, so I don't gotta go on a massive, you know, goose chase to find these later. It's kind of like a candy trail if you think about it that way. <laughs> also, I'm probably going to get lost in this place, so yeah, I hope we don't die down here. By the way, I will also say it's probably not the best idea to, you know, light a torch in the middle of a coal mine, but here we are. Also, there is a small little workbench here, and I'm not sure if there's going to be an exit soon. No, I don't see any. We do have quite the bit of coal, though, so after I loot everything here, we can, you know, drop off a few small items. Okay, nice. I dropped off around 12 pieces of coal, giving me 9, which should be more than enough for the forge. Our torches are going out very slowly as well. Hopefully we'll get out of here before it gets any worse, though. Oh, cool. New can opener. Oh, and also emergency stim. What a good day. We are going to leave the can opener here. If I ever need it, though, we know it's there. Oh, man, I hate snaking paths so dang much. I'm going to go this way. And would you look at that. We have reached a new place with lights. Hopefully I didn't do a big loop, but judging from the portage on here, I think we're set. Can I loot this? No, but I can loot the surrounding area, which has given me a single cotton toque. Well, it's cloth at the very least, and we did make it out. All the way to, hopefully, Coastal Highway. Hell yeah, we actually did it, and the temperature is looking great as well. I'm gonna relight a torch, and we are gonna continue our trek. And when I do find a structure, I will probably end the episode there and we can focus on our goal next. I'm pretty sure if we just go over towards the mountainous side, we can reach the massive lake. And after that, it's just a fact of following the shoreline all the way down to some nice structures. Matter of fact, I see a couple of ice shanties right down there. So I think that's going to be my goal for today. I just can't break my legs going down it. Oh, there's also a trailer here. With that, I'm probably going to revoke what I said earlier about staying at the first structure, because, you know, while it's nice, a trailer isn't where I'd want to camp out for the night, right? Let's see what's inside it, though. We have ourselves... Wow, we actually have nothing inside here from what I see. This place sucks. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. No, 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 no. We do have ourselves a single granola bar. I guess that's profit. Let's try and head our way down towards the docks, though. Okay, nice. After shimmying down the- oh, I did not mean to do that. Anyways, after shimmying down the mountainside, we have made it to the log sort. A collection of rundown cabins on the lake. There are a lot of wolves here. Holy hell, I need to find a cabin right now. Uh, <laughs> those guys are definitely going to beeline towards my location. We're going to go head over towards this trailer here, and we are going to call it quits for the day. I can loot the rest of the coastal highway next time. I probably won't stay here for the night, but um, yeah, we're definitely heading inside. <laughs> oh, wee. Anyways. That's not a good sign. I really don't want to sleep in a cabin with a dead body, but we'll have to deal with it. The game saved. I am also in a pretty good position. I think this is going to be a perfect spot to end the episode. Anyways, if you guys have liked it, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more as we explore more of the Coastal Highway.
hopefully not ending up like this poor schmuck here. So yeah, I will see all of you tomorrow. Peace the hell out, everyone.